Welcome to Electra Online. On the previous video, we found the force of attraction between an object away from a hollow sphere and the hollow sphere. The attraction, of course, due to gravity. And we ended up with this equation right here, that the force of gravity is indeed equal to the familiar equation, g, the product of the two masses, divided by the distance between them squared. But then we still had this integral right here, and we said that this integral was equal to 1, but we didn't show you why it was equal to 1. And so here in this video, we're going to show you why that integral is equal to 1. So we're going to take this integral, notice the limits are from r minus r to r plus big R right here. And so what we're going to do with this integral is divide into three separate, separate integrals. So we're going to take s squared over the denominator, little r square over the denominator and minus big r square over the denominator and then integrate each individual integral. The first one is pretty straightforward. So the integral of the s is s, we plug in the limits and we end up with one half. The second one is a little bit more challenging. Here we have the integral of s to the minus 2 ds. We took out all the constants and of course when we integrate that we get minus 1 over s. We put the minus over here. We plug in the limits then we get this, and then we clean that up algebraically. We end up with this expression right here, and simplifying that, we end up with the expression right here. We do the same with the third integral. It's actually the same integral. It's the integral of s to the minus 2 ds. So we end up with the same result right here. Now, we have a negative here because we have a negative on the third integral right there. So we can't forget about the negative. But again, we end up with the same result here. The only difference between these two is, of course, that the constants were different. So we had little r squared over 4r for this one, and we have minus r over 4 for the third integral. But when we then go ahead and add them all together, we end up with 1 half plus 1 half times this, minus 1 half times this. When we algebraically simplify that, it does indeed come out to be equal to 1. And so if this then drops out, this becomes 1, then you can see that the force of attraction between a mass here and a hollow cylinder is going to be equal to g times the product of the masses divided by the distance between their center masses squared. And that is how it's done. Isn't that the thing to the universal gravitational constant? Yeah, yeah, that's big G right there. No, I mean the whole equation. Well, that's the equation of gravity, right? But it was integrated by, it was yeah, multiplied yeah, by no. this integral. Because it's not always a hollow sphere between the two masses. No, this was simply to show what the force of attraction would be between a hollow sphere and this. It turns out that you'll get the same result for a solid sphere. 